Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to Oliver Smith Watches. My name is George Reed and I'm the fine timepiece director here at Oliver Smith Jeweler. Today I'm joined by Ryan Belton. Uh, for those of you who don't know Ryan, uh, he's been my my running partner here in, in the watch industry for going on two decades. Um, he's absolutely the ace in the hole here at Oliver Smith. And he and I did a predictions video. Uh, we talked about Rolex, Tudor, and Paddock specifically. Yeah. And uh, back from Watches and Wonders, the whole world knows what was there. So uh, we are going to react to our own video, kind of change it up on you a little bit today, and uh, talk about what we got right and what we got real wrong. Okay, so I have not watched this video since we first put it out. Uh, so I actually literally do not remember what we got right or what we got wrong. I, th I think I remember a few things, but yeah. um, so we're just gonna start getting into it right now. Let's, let's start with Rolex. All right, let's do it. I've said this for the past probably seven, eight years, yeah. Coke bezel. Is this gonna be the, is is this this gonna be the year for the Coke bezel? It seems like a lot of brands are starting to go to red this year. Yes. Like it seemed like green last year. Well, got that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was definitely a new bezel. Can't call it Coke. Can't call it Coke. Yeah, they made the uh, gray and black bezel for yeah. the uh, the new GMT two tone in gold. Uh, looks great, uh, but definitely not a Coke bezel. So it's it's funny too. Um, on the two tone of that, watching it live, uh, it, I was like, oh, okay, whatever. Man, the Jubilee bracelet in gold. Yeah, I forgot how much I missed a gold Jubilee bracelet. Well, they, it, the gold one's spectacular. Yeah, I man. mean it's super nostalgic. And the yeah. fact that they made a modern version of that watch yeah. with a solid link so you don't have the bend, you know, yeah. after a couple years of wearing it. Um, I feel like a lot of people are going to gravitate towards that, especially if you're like from the 80s and 90s generation uh, when those watches came out. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, so it's the one we got wrong, but I'm, I'm glad we got it wrong because I like the end result. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I think they're going to do a Coke bezel, but I don't think they're going to do it with Rolex. I think they're going to do it with Tudor. And we got that right. <laughs> but uh, I really like that white dial Pepsi. Yeah. Um, it looks fantastic. In and, my and, and, and uh, again, hitting on that that, that nostalgia trend. Yep. Um, for those of you who don't know the story of the Albino GMT, real quick, um, there was rumored to be five of the originals that were made, five or six, something like that, for the uh, Pan American executives. Yeah, okay. And uh, I, I don't know, I don't think Rolex ever said for sure whether they did it or not, but there's this one in this private class collection in Japan and every once in a while it tours the country and everybody like all the experts agree if they did it that's one of that, those that's one of those <laughs> yeah, ones. Yeah, so <laughs> by the way did you see the artisans version I did artisans de Genève just did a just really did cool one, version of that as well it looks and that's and that's awesome. like the direct nod like that actually the artist the ADG one looks an awful lot like that that Japanese one that tours every correct once in a while. yeah so with like the faded good. dial yeah, yeah, oh my yeah, gosh it yeah. looks incredible but the Tudor looks amazing yeah again yeah bravo great, Tudor. Yeah, great job glad we got it wrong so yeah. <laughs> I still think like of Tudor as like the younger and maybe cooler brother to Rolex, where they can kind the of play. Brother, <laughs> still I got that one. Yeah, I was gonna say still <laughs> agree with that. like for their cases and their bronze cases and things like that. So they kind of test the waters first with them, and then finally it get will, it to Rolex. And I I still hold that the, the gosh, maybe my favorite watch of the releases last year was that that Black Bay Pro. Yeah. Oh yeah, I yeah, yeah. Know, I mean, great piece. Still yeah, great yeah. Watch. it was just it was just um uh, that same kind of nostalgic homage, thing too. Oh, just, just knocked it out. They are like killing it. Um, to stay on the Rolex tip, um, I think we're going to see some more titanium. I hope to see some more titanium and maybe in like the sea dweller. Well, this we got kind of right. Yeah. So, uh, I said a sea dweller and I believe you say you end up going with a sub. sub yeah. Uh, and it was a yacht master. Didn't uh, see that. So kind of right in between both of them. Uh, but I feel like that watch is going to be a hit 42 millimeter titanium. Yeah. That the matte black bezel. Uh, my, my, my joke was I liked it the first time when it was a Pelagos, but yeah. <laughs> well, remember, remember the, the kind of spy shots from the guy that was like the yachting, um, yeah. you know, he was in the yachting race and he was wearing like the rubber yeah, strap yeah, and yeah, it was yeah. like, a prototype type thing yep. and everybody's like i feel like everybody's gonna come out with that and then they did, they did. thank you rolex for doing it because i mean bezel's great yeah it looks I, it just, fantastic. Uh, yeah and i mean, you I mean to see the live show yeah so. and it's 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 really easy to love uh, again maybe low-hanging fruit whatever don't care love the watch love yep. the watch yeah yep. Yep. yeah great job you just do like the pelagos but with the rolex we were like all around yeah, basically. we were all yeah. around it yeah yeah Okay, so going back to Rolex, the hardest time I have with these predictions is I try to apply logic to these brands, and um, it's, it, logic fails in a lot of these cases, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. I said it last year. I'll say it again this year. 
they need to do a 41 millimeter GMT master. The reason I, I say that. Uh, so obviously it didn't happen. Nope. Uh, but what they did with the GMT Master uh, this year with the gold, like we kind of already touched on earlier, uh, fantastic yep. job. Yep. Obviously the same 40 millimeter case, but I mean, I mean, it's okay that we missed on that I'm one. I'm gonna go 41 millimeter Daytona. I'm hoping for a bigger Daytona this year. <laughs> so, uh, not necessarily right, but I mean, kind of a different case shape for the Daytona. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I haven't seen one live yet, so I don't really know how it wears, feels, or anything like that. But, uh, it, I mean, yeah, we got a kind of a different Daytona. This yeah. Year. It, I, I, it was funny. It was one of those. It was surprisingly controversial. Like, like in Geneva at the show, after hours in the bars, people had like hard and real opinions about oh, this sure, watch. Yeah. Um, I just thought it was great. My first blush, um, I liked. It does appear that the, the, the case sides are a little flatter. Um, Did you get a chance to try one on? No, no, I didn't. I, uh, so to, uh, to get hands on with this product, you have to be an AD or, oh, or a boutique. Gotcha. Um, yeah. So you get to see them, they're behind glass. I didn't get the touch. Gotcha. No touch and try. Um, I I love the, uh, the insert now, the bezel. Yeah. Uh, simply, I always thought it was kind of a bad idea to leave exposed uh, ceramic, ceramic just especially doing what we do. We see it all the time. Protecting the, yep. the crystal. It's like the crystal's harder than the ceramic. I don't, you know. Yep. So to do that, real smart. Um, I like the new dial layout. Uh, I, I just thought it was it was just a really good job uh, uh, not reinventing the wheel with that one. It's not broke, don't fix it, but you can just change it a little bit. On to Patek Philippe. Yes. Um, any predictions there? Um, well, obviously they usually do something with a sport line, um, you know, like uh, Nautilus or Aquanaut. Um, just the other day we saw a picture of the brand new uh, 16202 from AP with a slightly different dial. I can see Paddock going in the same uh, kind of role as that. Um, not really changing too much about the watch, like a dial color or anything, but actually just switching the texture on the dial. Uh, kind of like what they did last year with that kind of... I so technically, I kind of got this right. Mm -hmm. So now it wasn't a sport model they did this with. It was actually a Calatrava that they actually kind of made a sport model of uh, with that kind of, I don't know if it looks, it looks kind of like carbon fiber in the center, but it's just a different texture. Yeah, like a weave, yeah. Like a weave yeah. pattern, right? And they made it in red, blue, and yellow. Three, three color uh, 40 millimeter Calatrava. Uh, I believe in white gold. I think it's white gold. Well, on that and one, but... you kind of got it right too, because they did do that um, Aquanaut. Which, yes. which was a, a, yeah. a, a, a real different look, and I, and I was a little confused by it initially. Uh, rose gold Aquanaut, this beautiful blue dial, uh, and it's an annual calendar. And and I, I, I was originally lumping that in with the whole like change for change state thing. Yeah. Till I realized it was in the women's catalog, and I'm like, oh yeah. So so they're marketing it as a women's watch, which actually makes me want it more. I, I, I don't I don't know why. Is, Is it, it a 39? No no no. It's it, it's it's a full sized Aquanaut. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. But right. but just marketed towards women. So kind of right in, in both ways. Combining both, you got it. <laughs> Perfect. All right. See what else we got yes. Uh, on the yes. Outro, which I think looks fantastic. I do. Still love that watch. I, I, I could see them doing something like that and fun and different with their dial. I'm gonna. If we're gonna stick with sport watches because I think I think you're right there, and I think that's a very um, uh, paddock thing. Oh yeah. Um, with the uh, what is it? The fifty eight eleven um, in white gold. Um, I see a spin on that between last year. Uh, Elang and Zuna yeah. did their Odysseus and Titania. Yeah. Rolex doing that. Obviously, this one we did. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, do do we see like a fifty nine eleven in like a titanium Nautilus? Uh, I would love to see it. I would love to have seen that. Yeah, yeah. got it. Got it wrong, and I'm sorry about that. Um, maybe next year I'll, I'll predict that again because I think that would just be a stellar watch. Like that's that's just me. Um, other thing I'd love to see from them. Um, they did that annual calendar uh, travel time last year. Perfect Perfect watch. Yep, yep. Um, Perfect watch. Great watch. Great watch. Yeah. I'm just thinking, like, it, as a guy who's going to use either one of those complications, having them both together makes perfect sense. You technically got that right. Yeah. Uh, they made a green and a blue yep. travel time but yep. a chronograph. Um, I don't remember the reference number off the top of my head. Yeah. but the, the, In the pilot. Yeah, but it's yeah, in that pilot yeah. 5261, something like that. Yeah. I don't know. But uh, it is gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, the green dial on that is just fantastic. Um, they made it in the two, like, hit colorways. You sure, know, yeah, blue, yeah, Blue yeah. and green kind of touched on both. But, yeah, that's it. That's actually yeah. one you got correct. So very, very well done. Um, I think you. you got a lot more right than wrong, which is awesome, um, especially uh, in this environment and uh, 
and and doing what we do. Uh, we've been doing it for a while, oh, so you'd think we'd be good at it. No, man, it, it, it's it's so hard to predict these things. Well, I got one more question for what you. Got? What was your favorite watch from Watches and Wonder? Um, my absolute favorite watch out of everything I saw, um, I actually can't talk about yet. Okay. Um, we'll do a separate video on that. Yep. Um, I, okay. Um, it's the, it's the ball pit, the bubble dial, the celebration. Dip and dots, pretty yes, pebbles, yeah, whatever you want to call the, it. The Rolex yeah. OP, man. Um, I want one. If you can get me one, please get me one. I will pay you handsomely. I love that watch. And I shouldn't. It, it, it goes against like like all of my principles. The minute I noticed it was all the high colors from all the old OPs, all the discontinued, I'm like, oh, I gotta love that watch. I it went back and looked at it three cool. times. That's my watch. That's awesome. Yours? Uh, probably the green uh, uh, Sky Dweller, uh, to be honest yes. with you. Uh, I mean, green is such a fantastic color. Rolex nails it on all their watches. If it's anything like the date just that they released, yeah. what, last year or the year before, yeah. um, I will be completely happy with that. So. And, and it is. Um, it, it's it's that light mint green. Um, it's, it's not shocking. It's really subtle. Um, also, I, I think I've talked about it before, a little bit of a sleeper watch, um, really, really well done, is the, the white gold black dial Daytona. Oh, okay. Um, that like like stopped me cold and i had to go back and look but, but really? like it's it's really it's, it's a little little more nostalgic it kind of reminds me of stuff like i i was kind of coming up with but keep an eye out for that one too also the 1908 uh i feel yeah. like that watch is going to be a hit yep. uh kind of i don't know if it's replacing the the cellini collection uh but there was no cellini shown really no there might have been the moon phaser i might have looked right past it just because i was looking at the 1908 i mean that <laughs> hand that kind of looks like the world timer hand from the uh paddock yep. world timer uh with that kind of open uh, what, I mean, what's interesting fantastic. about the watch too is that um, it's the first kind of Cellini esque thing where from across the room you go, oh, that's a Rolex. Yeah. The three six nine. Yeah. Um, right. it, it, it's it's a little bit of the Explorer. It's a little bit. You go, oh, that's a Rolex. I, I know that they watch. They kind of combine like the sport to the dress a yeah. little bit, which I really really love. Yeah. I, I I liked it. Yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah. Very very well done. Thank you guys. Um, th thank you for tuning in. Um, weird question. What was your favorite? Uh, please comment, comment below. below. Let us know what you think. And, uh, and thanks very much, guys. We'll see you soon.